Cars that can talk to each other, interact with traffic lights and even see around corners. The advent of 5G could make these real, bringing the faster speeds and greater bandwidth needed for smart traffic systems and truly autonomous vehicles. But it's not the only option for connecting cars. It's up against a more established Wi-Fi based technology. There's a debate about which is better. The choice is between the existing Wi-Fi standard called DSRC, or Dedicated Short Range Communications, or CB2X, Cellular Vehicle to Everything, that would eventually use 5G networks. China was first to make a decision favoring cellular technology for its cars. With recent developments in 5G, that could be handing China an early lead their focus is leading to this real-time to market advantage and frankly they'll be saving uh, hundreds if not thousands of lives much sooner than we will as we fumble to determine which is the standard that is best for the long-term roadmap in the Western world. In October China mandated the use of CB2X and gave it a dedicated band of spectrum. In the US and Europe the spectrum issue is unresolved and there's a split on which technology to use. Settling the standard matters. If the federal government mandates Dated a technology today, it's estimated up to 8.1 million car crashes and 44,000 deaths could be prevented. So how are the technologies different? Both are designed to connect cars directly to other vehicles and the infrastructure around them. But the cellular tech can also harness a 5G network's wider coverage, greater bandwidth, and crucially, its lower latency. That one millisecond delay of latency in 5G to let your car know that there's a car coming around the, the corner that you can't see is going to be critically important. Today with 4G, that might be 10 or 20 or 30 milliseconds. It'll be crucially important to the safety levels. The Wi-Fi based standard also has low latency and backers like chipmaker NXP argue that it's a better option because the technology is mature and ready for deployment now. But supporters of the cellular tech say it has superior range and is more secure. Byton is a US EV startup that will build its car in China and bring it to market with basic self-driving capabilities. 5G will enable vehicles to talk to different infrastructure. It'll enable vehicles to talk to each other. Autonomous driving can use up to one and a half terabytes of data per hour. That data needs to come into the vehicle and leave the vehicle. CV2X can evolve with each new generation of cellular networks, starting with 5G. It would be as simple as switching the modem. Critics of the Wi-Fi standard say the technology is outdated and not appropriate for the cars of tomorrow. So which will prevail? 5G CV2X is now backed by a trade group representing more than 100 car manufacturers and chip makers, including Qualcomm. Vehicles are becoming more and more autonomous, relying upon cameras and sensors. Once we start blending in both 5G and cameras and sensors, we get to see a far more transformative experience. A European Commission plan for the Wi-Fi based standard was defeated in July, opening the door for a 5G standard supported by Audi and BMW. In the US, the Trump administration has put off making a decision. But Ford isn't waiting for Washington. In January, the carmaker committed to deploying CV2X in its cars from 2022. Currently, General Motors is the only US carmaker promoting the older Wi-Fi standard. Bloomberg New Energy Finance says in the long term, the US, Korea and Japan will adopt the cellular option as they aggressively deploy 5G networks. For now, the Western world's left it to automakers to fight it out over which standard to adopt. Ed Ludlow, Bloomberg News, San Francisco.